Hey coin collectors and welcome to another joint video from the DC Coin World Coin Channel and the Big D Coins Coin Channel. And uh, you've heard me say it in a couple other videos, but Big D started the uh, DC Coin Channel and let me take it over. And I've been so grateful and I went to him and I said, look, can I do a couple of videos? And he said, sure. I'll let you do some guest videos on my channel. And I'm hoping, kind of crossing my fingers, that maybe Big D will come and we'll do a joint video but with the two of us at some point, but let's let's give him a lot a lot of subs and a lot of views And maybe he'll come around. So here's the trick question for today And that is which one of these are pennies? It turns out that there's only one penny in this whole bunch of coins here We look up here and we see uh, What's that an Australian coin? There's the US coin the Lincoln uh, Here's a coin from England. Here's another coin from England. Here's one from Canada well, guess what? Let's go through them one at a time. Australia in 1968 moved to decimalization and they moved to one cent coins. So many of you are familiar with the old Australian jumping kangaroo, hopping kangaroo penny, the George Kruger gray penny, the KG there. Just a beautiful, beautiful coin, this oversized penny, a Queen Elizabeth first portrait on the front. Well, Australia had moved to the one cent coins in 1968, so they don't have a penny in Australia. The United States does not have a penny. It has a one cent coin. Canada over here, the Canadian penny, we know about the Canadian penny, they don't make the Canadian penny anymore. Well, they never did. This is a Canadian one cent coin. Well, they haven't for a long time, let's put it that way. And look at this. This is really weird, and that is, guess who designed the famous Canadian maple leaf? George Kruger Gray, the same guy that did the kangaroo on the back of the Australian coins. So again, though, this is 1988, same as the other coins here. Um, 1988, it's a one cent coin from Canada. Well, how about this big one here? No, how about this one? Ah, we got one. So this is the one penny coin from the United Kingdom. It has that crown portocullis, which is that gate that they, with the spikes on the bottom that they would lower to keep people from coming in. One penny, so there we go. We finally have a penny and it's from the United Kingdom. Here's the one on the bottom. Of course it has Queen Elizabeth II on the front. Um, and she's wearing uh, one of the crowns. And this says 1988 here. So this is the one penny coin. And the reason that this big one's here from United Kingdom from 1988 is they have a one penny, but they, when they go up to two, they call it a pence. So when you count um, in British coinage, you count in pence, but they call the smallest one a one penny coin. So there, that was ours. And of course, this is the uh, Prince Charles's symbol Ick dine, I serve, and with the um, peacock feathers coming out of the top, and this is a two pence here. But what we really want to talk about today is the 1988 one cent coin from the United States. And we're going to have to change up the lighting just a little bit uh, because um, these coins are a little bit funky to light. Um, some of them have this kind of coloring to it. And some of them have this kind of shiny off color to them. And some of them look like this. Let's talk about why that is. Well, the first thing um, we want to say is that this is a 1988 coin. And at the Denver Mint, they in 1988, they made five and a quarter million of these. So that's the D here. At the Philadelphia Mint, which is the plain, remember the, the pennies don't have the P on them. At uh, the Philadelphia Mint, they made six million. So between the two of them, 11 and a quarter billion. I mean, they made six, yeah, six billion and five billion. So between the two of them, 11 and a quarter billion coins. If you can get this coin in really good shape, like MS65, um, they're worth between uh, six and ten dollars each. But in this condition that we have them in here, 1988, so we're talking about 33 years old, not really worth much. What's on the back? Well, of course, the Lincoln Memorial. And when we look at this, um, some people confuse um, the full steps version 
Um, the original Full Steps version of the Lincoln Memorial, that's on the nickel. But we do have Lincoln way in there. It says United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum here, and the statue of Lincoln where he's seated at the Lincoln Memorial. Down at the bottom it says one cent. And way over here we have an FG, and that, of course, is for Frank Gasparro. And he was uh, one of the most famous United States coin designers, the FG. He uh, designed the eagle landing on the moon coin that you've probably seen. Um, some cases you'll see it on, on uh, the back of an Eisenhower dollar, and in some cases you'll see it on the back of the Susan B. Anthony $1 coin. If we look way down in there, you can see the FG for Frank Gasparro. And so he was a famous, in the same way that George Kruger Gray was a famous uh, United Kingdom and Commonwealth designer, uh, Frank Gasparro uh, did many American coins. And this is, of course, Susan B. Anthony facing to the right, the 1979 version. So we have a, a D and a P, the Denver and a Philadelphia. We don't want to forget that in 1988, they also produced a mint set penny uh, or one cent coin. And this, of course, is a 1988 S coin. So when you look back through time, you'll see that there were many coins um, back um, before in the early 80s and before that would have an S on them for San, San Francisco Mint. And San Francisco Mint just made those as regular coins. Um, but by the time we get to 1988, the only San Francisco Mint coins are going to be these proof coins. And that's, you can see how this is burnished. Oh, look, let's look at this because on the front of the penny, we said Frank Gasparro did the back. Well, here's who did the front. And these, these are great coins because you can see them V, a D, and a B. So that's Victor David Brenner, who did this in 1909, and it just has lasted until now. In fact, if we tip these up, the pennies are good for this because you can often see on any penny, there's the V, the D, and the B on the 1988 D coin. All right, so we have the D, the Denver, the P, Philadelphia. We have 11 and a half billion of them made, so they're not worth much. Uh, but you may be able to get um, some doubling on these coins. You may be able to get some offsets on these coins. And if you can get it in MS65 or above, uh, you're going to start talking real money. Um, the penny that I showed you, or the one cent coin uh, from San Francisco, that's worth three or four dollars. Um, just um, because they didn't make many of these, they only made 3.262 million. So if you see one of these outside of the set, it's worth uh, three plus dollars, maybe even more. It depends on how red it is, how shiny it is. And you see this one is just a fine, fine coin. Not quite as red as some, but certainly MS65. Um, and they don't really call it MS65 when it's a proof coin. Of course, they call it proof uh, 65 uh, or and uh, this, of course, a proof coin is always going to come out in mint state because it comes straight from the mint and never goes to anybody. Look at a little bow tie on Lincoln. You can hardly see the bow tie on some of the other coins, um, or you just don't know what it is. It gets kind of this knotted thing here. But on the proof coins, you can see the bow tie for sure. All right, that's all we have today from Big D Coins and from DC Coin World. Uh, this is DC saying thanks for watching, and uh, let's see if we can get enough views so we can get... Big D to come back and do a joint video with us um, and thank him again uh, from me and from all of my viewers of my channel uh, for setting up the DC Coin World channel so I could do it.